dead people. You, you were warming up there. Look like we had a little bit of dancing going on. You were coming into our little gold plate, got lifted up for Steve Ingram. Come on. Look at that. All the young athletic people. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, brother. Do you ever get sick and tired? Fuck He's got a good life. I'm sick and tired.
want to sing, yeah? You want to sing? You've never heard this before. It's quite good. I mean, we, we don't know you, and you don't know us, but we've got to get to know each other tonight. A little yeah. bit. And what can make it better than a little bit of singing? I'll sing the first bit, you pick up on the next bit. My name is Psycho. My name is Psycho. My name is Psycho, yeah. My name is Psycho. My name is Psycho. My name is Psycho, yeah. My name is Psycho. My name is Psycho. My name is Psycho, yeah.
Apart from you, John, the guys throwing our merch works at QBH. Yeah. Really good guys, QBH, proper old school British pop from Birmingham. Anybody here ever been to Birmingham? Yeah. Much travelled, much travelled. Yeah. This is the time, sadly enough, for the last song. You're going to go, oh fuck, what a shame. But before I go, well, I don't want to go very far, I'll just ask you a question. Do you believe in the power of rock and roll? Yeah! Do you believe in the power of rock and roll? Yeah! Do you believe in the power of rock and roll to affect social change, have a good time and kick ass and sweat, and come to cry rooms and enjoy the punk rock community spirit? Yeah! Do you believe in the power of rock and roll?
Crass explained exactly what it was. Yeah! It was about fighting and fucking in the streets. It was something more powerful than that. What Crass did, they made you think. They made music that sound like music I've never heard in my life. When they did their fast punk rock songs, they sounded so fucking angry that everybody in England who's in the punk rock made a direct connection with what they were doing. But then they had the other songs, the weird tape loops, the strange sounds, Penny Rimbo, fantastic drumming. Fuck, let's give it up for Penny Rimbo. Because yeah. Penny and Steve were a class. They inspired us. You know when people tell you that rock and roll does nothing in your life? You know when people say rock and roll doesn't change your life? Just because it's a bunch of stupid, fucking, egotistical wankers trying to make loads of money. I say to them, crass, because they're powerful effects of something like me. I grew up in a town called Blackpool with my sister, who's over here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I just embarrassed her completely. She lives in Washington, yeah. So I'm sort of local. Crass, I never thought I'd be a vegetarian to I listen to Crass records. That's a powerful thing. Sometimes I think it's the only honourable thing I've ever done in my life. I've not had to kill anything for 30 years just to get down the street. Now that's my personal choice, that's what Crass told me. Because if you want it, for me, if people if you want to eat meat, that's cool. My personal decision was to be a vegetarian, and that's from Crass. So for me, the music, the artwork, what they were still for, and, and, and the lyrics were so fucking powerful. And even though ostensibly, you would look at them and say they are not a rock and roll band. For me, they were. They took the thinking of the hippies and combined it with the power and anger of the punks. And do you know what? That made me believe in the power of rock and roll. I testified to crass. I need to testify to power of rock and roll. Do you believe in the power? 
Make your dice over there if you don't have to buy any. Just come over and have a chat about punk rock. That's the one, thank you. Thank you. 